Let's review how we tell time on a clock. The very first hand we want to look at is the short hand. The short hand is our hours hand. So we look to where the short hand is pointing, and it is pointing directly at the four. So it is four something. Now we look at the minute hand. Well, if I look at the minute hand, it is pointing straight up. Now, the numbers on the clock, remember, these represent hours. They don't really represent minutes, but we can use these distances, kind of like on a number line, to determine the number of minutes. When This is like zero. When the, when the minute hand is pointing straight up, that represents zero minutes. So the time on this clock is exactly four o'clock. Now, on this clock, we have, let's again look at the shorthand, and the shorthand is a little bit past the 11, so it is 11 something. Now let's look at the minute hand. It is pointing directly down. Well, there, remember, at the top of the clock is zero minutes. Now every single one of these increments where there is a number represents five minutes, so all we have to do is skip count by fives until we get to where the minute hand stops. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So 11, 30. In this problem, the shorthand is pointing in between the 2 and the 3. So that is 2 something. Now let's count by fives to where the minute hand stops. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So 2, 40. One more example. In this problem, the shorthand is pointing directly past the 10 a little bit, so it's 10 something. Now let's count 5, so 10.05 10 is how we would say that time. 